that. Next question. Yes. Uh, hi, Steve. Hi. <laughs> hi. Ellie Kemper. Wow. Hi. Hi. People would really love to see an office reboot. <laughs> So I really don't like this idea. Don't get me wrong, despite the fact that I've never really talked about it, I think that The Office is one of the greatest shows ever made. I'm specifically referring to the US version, I have seen a few episodes of the UK one, and yes it is the original Office that deserves all the praise and respect and I acknowledge that, but for now I'm going to talk about the American one because that is the one everyone is talking about rebooting. The way the show created a bunch of different personalities that are all so likable and unlikable at the same time and put them in this everyday Office setting, I mean it was just born to be a success. Not to mention the fact that it made me and so many others cry during some very specific parts of the series that we will not get into right now because that's not what we're here to talk about. Like I just said, this show has made us cry, thus giving us a heavy emotional attachment to the characters, and whenever that happens, the world just can't seem to toughen up and accept that when something is over, it's over. Referring back to that original clip, yeah, Steve Carell was teasing the idea of an Office reboot happening. He made it somewhat clear that it's definitely not happening, but following that episode, it was made very clear from everyone in society that they want it to happen again. And I'm here to say, stop. Now this is a problem I've had for a while, and The Office is just another example. The thing about this though is that The Office holds a very special place in my heart, and I really don't want this to get the reboot treatment. I guess before I get too deep, I should clarify what I define as a reboot to specify what it is that I have an issue with. There's a few different terms. There's reboot, remake, reunion, whatever. I've seen a bunch of different definitions for the terms all over the internet, so here's what I'll say. I have an issue with shows that bring back the same actors and continue the story or have a reunion episode. I do not, for the most part, have a problem with remakes, where, for example, maybe the original seems a little dated and someone decides to go ahead and make a new, more modern version. Again, that's for the most part. I have an issue with certain remakes and certain films, but... That's another video. I'd also like to clarify that I'm not a fan of when this happens in TV. With film, it's hard to say if a certain film necessarily counts as a reboot because doesn't that just mean it's a sequel or a part of a larger thing? And in that case, I already have a video on sequels, so blah blah blah, we're talking about TV. So okay, with that out of the way, what exactly sucks about reboots? Why would rebooting The Office be a bad idea? Well, let's go over the most obvious reason. Actors change. Whoa, actors are like normal people, they change? Yeah. For one, they change physically. Look at something like Arrested Development. I can't be the only one who was insanely uncomfortable when Michael Sarah went from looking like a sweet young darling to looking like a weird ostrich man. It makes things different and awkward. Everyone on Arrested Development really went through quite the change to a point where it felt like they were completely different people. Looking at the Office cast, I'm afraid we would go through a similar situation. None of them have changed as much as the Arrested Development people, but Rain Wilson doesn't have the same nerdy 30-year-old guy look anymore, and John Krasinski is just a straight-up hunk now. My point is, things would be different. Actors also change mentally. I have never acted on a hit TV show, so clearly I can't really speak from my own experience, but I've heard many times that acting is like a sport. And when you're on the same show for years, coming back over and over again for the same season, playing the same person, it becomes routine. You get in shape, in a sense. So to come back to a specific character years later after doing other things with your life, that can really throw off the organic feel that made the original thing so good. This is especially important for something like The Office because this show ran on authenticity, making crash zooms a huge thing and acknowledging that it was being filmed. The Office was the type of show to make a joke about everyone randomly coming together years later and at that point, it just feels weirdly forced. It's also worth noting what the star of the show, Steve Carell, has been doing since it ended. This man was in Foxcatcher, The Big Short, Beautiful Boy, the list goes on. Films that are far from being as goofy as The Office was. When you get into that kind of intense mental state where you're playing characters who are so far from yourself, let alone Michael Scott, it makes returning to that character incredibly difficult. I mean, he was barely able to crack jokes during his SNL monologue, what does that say? And to be honest, I don't really blame him. As I mentioned earlier, Steve Carell and probably a lot of other actors from The Office have grown into different people and that part of their life is over. You know, how normal people work. Now I also want to say this, it's going to hurt to hear but we all need to hear it. It won't be and it never will be as good as the original. If they reboot The Office, there is literally no way it is going to be as good at all. Why? Well, I blame it on the fact that we made it a classic. The reason the new 2018 or 2019 episodes of The Office wouldn't be as good as the old ones is for the same reason newer episodes of Spongebob, rest in peace Steven Hillenburg, will never be as iconic as the first three seasons, you know, at least for the people who grew up on it. We didn't necessarily expect jokes from The Office to hit with us as much as they did. First time watching it, I didn't know that the fire alarm cold open would be one of the funniest things I'll ever see. They were jokes that just seemed to naturally hit. If a reboot were to happen, there would be this automatic assumption that new, iconic bits would come out of it. An assumption 
assumption that would come from both viewers and writers. And when putting yourself in the shoes of a writer, an iconic bit is not something that can just be written up. They aren't meant to be forced. As I stated earlier, The Office was a show that made entertainment and humor out of the mundane, out of the simple. One of the biggest bits to come out of the show is this clip. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 I highly doubt the writers knew something special was coming out of that when they initially wrote it. So now you might be thinking, well maybe they won't try and write iconic things, maybe they'll just want to bring it back to have a little fun with it, is there really so much wrong in that? So in other words, you're saying, for nostalgic purposes? Yeah, okay, so like to make money. If they aren't gonna try and be funny with it or, or do their best, then what's the point other than that? There is no way new episodes would be as funny as the original, so really you're just going into it to be like, oh hey, uh, remember these guys? This is great. If anything, it'll just make us sadder that it's over and we'll never get the the original again. And finally, my last point is that there are so many things that happened in the plot near the end of the series that would prevent it from going back to normal. Like, I won't spoil it if you haven't seen it, but you know what I'm talking about. There's no way things are just gonna pick right back up at the office. And if they do find a way to write around it and start things back up, then there's just gonna be a lot of catching up to do, an explanation for why certain things are a certain way, and then it's just gonna get messy and stupid, and all of a sudden, there's no jokes. Do you get what I'm saying? It's a horrible idea. The Office was a beautiful thing. It was one of the best comedies to ever be on TV, and of course I miss it a ton. But to be honest, I'd rather sit here and rewatch what we have and enjoy it rather than milk it to death to a point where I don't even care anymore. Kind of like Arrested Development, like seriously. I already forgot what happened in that last season. Trust me, I get that it sucks to say goodbye to great things, but sometimes when something's over, it's best to just accept it. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.